So, in this video, I intend to marry this body with this top. But first, we need to work out what shape it's going to be. So let's recap. I've had this body for a while, and this body for a while, um, and it was damaged in the post. I didn't care at the time because I just wanted the outline, but as we can see here, this top horn was knocked off because they sent it in a plastic bag. I wasn't sending it back to China. So I've got to come up with some design that fits within this. I can't flip it over because we have the cavity here already. So what I'm thinking of is to maybe where the lower horn is lower. So maybe if I flip the body over, <laughs> there's a joke there, um, maybe it would just fit within there. So I'm going to try that. So this lunatic plan will probably work. Seems to come in just under this crack, which will be a problem if it's deeper on the other side. But we'll find out when that happens, shall we? Right, well, I'll get the rest of that with a sander in the morning. Once I've uncovered it. Yep. So we now have a kind of almost symmetrical shape. So the next thing I'm going to do is resand it. I won't film that. And then we'll pick up after I've marked out the shape and we're going to cut it out. I also need to set my bandsaw up. <laughs> it's got like a two TPI blade in it at the moment, which won't be suitable. Not sure how this is going to go, but my uh, other bandsaw blade is awful, and this one is. Not probably suitable for this wood. Uh, definitely not for a body bank. But. We'll see how it goes. So I was doing a dry run to see how it would glue up and right around here on the arse end of the guitar is a bloody gap. Um, so I'm going to have to just work on flattening the top off a bit more. And by the top I mean this bit, the bottom, the body. Okay, so we are now ready to glue. I'm going to clean off the gluing surfaces, so not that side. Should be a relatively simple glue up. Um, glue, glue, scrooge. I don't know how someone can lose an entire box of gloves, but I have no idea what they are. So time to get messy. Interesting, because I often watch people on the internet. <laughs> Creepy phrase. But when I see people doing a glue-up, it often looks really cack-handed, and I think, how do these people even get dressed in the morning? And then I watch myself do it, and I think, yeah. <laughs> Not going to worry about any of the glue squeeze out. The, um, the bearing and the router is going to just bring it all into size shape whatever so the glue is still not entirely dry but i've just gone around the outside with blades scrapers sandpaper to uh get rid of any glue next time i think i will put tape around the edge it doesn't need to cover everything just so there is somewhere for the router to ride around which sounds like fun however my washer was also 
too big where I drew the line. So I'm gonna hit the sander or maybe the bandsaw to trim that closer before before routing. Because even at half an inch, that's gonna be trying to dig out from underneath it as it spins around, which will just, you're asking for tear out. Okay. Um, also the body is now 45 mil. Or two inches. So I, I would definitely need to thin it out afterwards. So with the bandsaw and the disc sander, I've got it close all the way around, so I'm just going to trim it, literally. And as the final thing I'm going to do today, or this video, I've just been distracted. There's like red stuff leaching out of the pores. Yeah, and on the end. My guitar's bleeding. Anyway, the final thing I'm going to do today is put a roundover in the bottom. Now I like a massive roundover. I have a massive round of a bit. Leave it there. But I don't, I've, I've never actually held an SG in my hands. So I don't really know what's around the back. Hmm. Anyway, so I'm going to start with this one. And then if it's if I think I want it to be bigger, bigger and more comical, then I will make it bigger and more comical. Just not quite sure what it's going to do. look like around the horns. But we will find out. Au revoir. Real shame I wasn't filming then, because this just exploded into a shower of sparks. Oh, damn the YouTube. Anyway, I'm fine. Nothing happened. And on that quite literal bombshell, um, I'm not quite sure we can take this any further now. Uh, not until I've got the neck sorted out. So I won't know about bridge placement, pickup placement, neck pocket, or anything like that. And here it looks like my roundover has gone quite close to this pocket here. So something to bear in mind. Anyway, I think it's looking cool. Hopefully I'll see you in the next video.